Raymond Film Productions. Raymond Film Productions. Twewayo twegate. Leka tole sebito ne biafe. Namu kama yembezi wafe. Production. Raymond Film Production. Production. Twewayo twegate. Leka tole sebito ne biafe. Namu kama yembezi wafe. We need this for the future. We do the best we can. One for all and all for one. Achieve the goal of the journey. Let us work together with Jesus. Let us stand by the door for God and the man from the ashes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'll begin. My name is Alan Hoffmanitz, or Alan Sali, as I am here in Uganda. Uh, I'm just some guy from Long Island who saw 90 seconds of Who Killed Captain Alex, the trailer on YouTube, and uh, two weeks later I came to Uganda uh, to track down who made the film, and now we're bringing him to the world. So uh, say hello, Isaac. Uh, hello. Okay, well, let, let's, let's start. Uh, <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is who killed Captain Alex. I mean, I did not kill Captain Alex. Someone killed him, maybe. I don't know. Who killed him, Isaac? I don't know. I don't know myself. I don't know. I just made a movie. What does, uh, just, uh, what does Ramon film mean? Uh, Ramon film uh, really means, uh, it comes from uh, the names of my grandmothers, uh, Raquel, or Ra Rachel, and Monica. You know, it's basically that, because I love them very much. I had to name this company for them. The, uh, by their names, so that is Ramon. It's Ramon R A is Raquel or Rachel. That's it. And, uh, and what is Wakaliwood? Uh, Wakaliwood is a uh, is uh, is a place in Wakaliga uh, that really makes action movies. That's what I know. It's Wakaliwood, and we want it to be international. You know, we are making it grow big, 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 so that every, even Hollywood has got to be swollen by Wakaliwood. I, I, I tell you, that is our target. Okay. And this is this is right by you where you live, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is behind where I live. That is where I live, of, of course. That's that's what Hollywood. <laughs> and how, how'd you get all that water? <laughs> I tell you, it's rain, and you know we, the drainage system is, is is you know it's not good. Uh, you know we don't have you know uh, water trenches that can take water away. So it's already uh, always flooding here. It's normal. It's normal. That's normal. That's no old water. In fact, that was a uh, little water. A little water. Yeah, li very little. Very little. Compared to what really we, we enjoy here. And, and the costumes, where, can you talk about where did he get the costumes? From? I tell you, we got the costumes from uh, basically singers like artists like Bobby Wine, one of the best Afro, Afro, Afro beat singers here in Uganda, and uh, some from Owino Market. And you know, everyone could come with a lace up green something, and then we say, okay, it's good. And that's how we managed to get those. And, but that is that that's generally how it is like if an actor was playing a character they have to provide the costume and the guns and of course well. yes of course yes sometimes you provide yourself we, we we are trying to create you know it's creativity if you come here we try to see how much creative you are mostly they come here they say we want action and then we also force you to be creative you have to come with an idea because if you say I love Schwarzenegger hey, tell us what you know about Schwarzenegger yeah. tell us know uh, about action you know it's like that we love people who have got creativity and we mostly we are almost everyone is an artist in Uganda or elsewhere in the world but the problem is that some don't know that they're artists they're good mm -hmm. what are they drinking Isaac I tell you that is paint that is paint. I, I remember that day when we got that uh, location. It was uh, it was an empty room, uh, which was going to be a bar, and they had just uh, painted it blue. That's why that's why you see most of the, of the drinks are blue. That is paint. We, the leftover paints there in the in the in the basin. That's what we did. What we just added more water there, and then we started sharing the glasses and bottles, so that we get uh, you know expensive wines. That is paint. I'm wondering because they are not drinking. Yeah, that's why they're not drinking. <laughs> they are pretending anyway. That is, you can see that brew there. That is pure, that is water now. 
yeah, because we wanted to have different types of white whisks. So some was water and that, you know, <laughs> that was paint. And this is, so her name is Natasha? Yeah, her name is Natasha, yeah. And she's, so Ramon also does music? Yes, we have an audio studio. We do music. And she came here as a singer. She came as a singer and uh, she never wanted to act anyway. But she wanted to sing. And uh, I said, okay, you come and sing. Uh, you can compose a song and it's like that. And we composed the song and we, we made it. We put it in Who Killed Captain Alex. And it was, it was co-written by Prossy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sang it with Pross. Uh, and yeah. Pross is uh, later in the film the wife, one of the wives. Of what, one Richard. of the wives of Richard, the Tiger Mafia. Yeah, she was uh, short at. Yeah. And is this, is this, have you, have you seen this in life, meaning that the military and then causing fights in oh. a bar? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. I, I, I grew up during. I grew up during. I was born during it. I mean, the regime. I have. Been, I've gone through military coups, military governments. Uh, so I, I have seen this several times. Several times. Uh, several times I've seen military men. You know. You know, fighting with the with the civilians. That is normal. That was normal. You know, during those days. But nowadays, maybe it's not. But during those days, the the eighties, it was normal. It was normal life. That it was it. And, uh, and how do you find the actors? I tell you, actors come sometimes. They come themselves because we don't announce, we don't do what. But because they see us acting, uh, I, I tell you, every Ugandan want to act in, a, in an action movie. If they hear that you are making action movie, they come themselves. Yeah. And I tell you, those who come, really they come with that art of action. Okay. And, and like, they, they come from all over to work with you. They come all over. Come again? They come from all over. They come from all different parts of Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come from different parts of Uganda. Others are from east. Others are from north, central, and different uh, tribes. Yeah, different types. Yeah. For that, for us, we don't segregate anyone who comes with the love of action. He or she can do. Kind of. We don't. We don't. Don't chase anyone. Hmm. And and how do you how do you rehearse? I mean, do you, do you like write a script and give them the script or? Is it improvisation? And sometimes uh, we rehearse some of these and we write a script. Sometimes, because I told you everyone is creative, sometimes we reach the location and the location gives us uh, what to do. Sometimes it's like that. As I told you, uh, we used the paint because we had no whisk and, and wines. So if you reach the location, we also try to use the location and the, whatever we find on the, lo on the location. <coughs> We improvise always. And there's Captain Alex. Yeah, that is Captain Alex. So what's, what's on his head, Isaac? I, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. And we lost a number of chairs there. And, and we had to, you know, to pay for that, for you the did. chairs. Yeah, I tell you. How much, do you know how much money you think this film cost? I don't know. I don't know. I cannot tell how much, really. And do you know, like, how long it took? Uh, how long? To make, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, it might have taken us one and a half a year, but this version you see here, uh, because we, 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 we rehearsed, we shot and did a lot of work, and we decided everything was not good. And then we decided during, uh, it was during October there, August there of 19, I mean 2009, 2009 year, we decided to make it, and we made it in one month. Everyone was determined. We, we were determined, of all of us, and we had gone that uh, experience of you know practicing and shooting and we say no it's not working so that one month was enough for us to produce this and you decided from the beginning to make like the action film of uganda yeah that is the first action movie may ever made in uganda by ugandans and everything is uganda <clears throat> so those real guns isaac <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell everyone that they're not. <laughs> As you see, they are, they are good. They are better than I think that they are those we, which, are, which are in the armlets of, of, of Uganda. I, I think they are better. You can even you witness it there. You can see the way they, 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 you know, they, they, they are strong, they are powerful, you know. They are good. All I know is that they are working. They are, they are, they are, they are good. So what movies? I don't say what movies do you like, but what movies were you thinking of? Certain movies when making this? I don't. I don't think of any movie. In most cases, if I'm making something, I want it to be Ugandan. In most cases, so I just come out with ideas and then I try to see that I make them. I make it Ugandan. 
so I don't always uh, I don't always copy from other movies. No, these are Ugandan movies. This is Uganda, and that's why you see everything is Uganda. Yeah, those are the bad guys, you know. Because they walk slow. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Ugandan army, I, I think. And they die fast. <laughs> <laughs> but they're tough, as you see. <laughs> yeah. Great. It's a great location. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, and I, I, I first, uh, first saw that uh, location uh, in, uh, in 2005 when I was uh, shooting a, a music video and I loved it and I said one day I will make a movie here so I had to make it it is called it, we used to call it Kazinga there it's, it's a lonely place so what's uh, in the suitcase Isaac? I don't know I don't know <laughs> I, I don't know what was in there how many films do you think you've made? Um, around 30 30, 30 30 and 40 between 30 and 40 that's how and these are feature length? Yeah, yeah, they're 90 minutes or 90 and between 60 and 90. Yeah. Where'd you get that pickup, that truck? <laughs> I tell you, the, that, that, that truck belonged to one of uh, our friends who loved our movies. He gave us just something like 30 minutes to use it. <laughs> and that's why they push it away later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, we had to push it away to pretend as if it was... Uh, put aside by these guys so that these guys might not find it there but the, the real reason behind was that uh, uh, the guy was going was busy he wanted his his car to be taken so we had to, to, to you know as I told you if you reach the location uh, we have to see that we utilize it so that we utilize that it was not on the script to, to push that truck away from there no it was not <laughs> they used the first moment of action maybe. yeah that is the first moment and people you know like it. They like that action and they, oh, 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 oh why did you, end? why does it end there? No, no, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's Okero. Yeah, that is Okero from Northern Uganda. You know, we, as I told you, we are, we are different tribes. We are from different tribes. That is Okero. Like how many tribes? Like I, Uganda's got something like 56 tribes. That's what I know. And, and you can see from there, people, this one is from Uganda, the other one from... Uh, on the border of Congo and the other one from Bunyolo. So it's a mix, you know. But is that normal in Uganda? Yeah. Meaning to get together? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes you see you, there are some, you know, some offices where you find there one tribe. But for us here at Ramoni, it's everyone is a human, is a Ugandan. Hmm. You don't care. Yeah. I, even though you are coming from Tanzania and you know what you want. And, and we'll you kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Kill everyone equally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Kasumba. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goodbye. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Why is he wearing a flashlight? It's daytime. <laughs> that is that is toughness. He's tough. <laughs> Here they go. They have to <laughs> yeah. push push the car offset. <laughs> <laughs> you might think that it, they, are, they are pushing it uh, to, to, to maybe so that if they attack the other ones, yeah. you might think that they don't have a car anymore to run away from. But the, really, the guy who gave us that car, <laughs> his car back. <laughs> he wanted his car. So where's Spider-Man? Okay. Come on. Oh, we'll get back. Oh, yeah, the other guy. I don't know who was in that. I don't know who was there. I think it was Ernest. I don't know. I don't remember. Does he wear masks because he keep yeah. repeating the actors? Yeah, yeah. We had no enough of them, and then we said, "Okay, one of us should put on a mask." <laughs> so he's he's Russian, yeah. He's a Russian mafia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't he's look Russian. Russian, Isaac. He's a Russian from Russia. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the gun is great, though. <laughs> yeah, that is a stop. Oh, you go, okay. Oh, you see Njaga. <laughs> and what does that mean? Njaga is marijuana. <laughs> and I don't know who wrote it, who wrote it there. I found it there. Or why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to go to this place and I'm going to write that. Njaga. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, getting slow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, most people, especially Ugandans, like slow motion. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> they like slow motion. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Yeah, 
that is Frakido. So whose idea was that? <laughs> it was my idea. No? That's great. <laughs> and I tell you, he had to jump, but uh, we say no, you cannot jump before they, you, 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 before they are attacked. You cannot. For him, he was saying, no, let me jump. And I, no, 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 no. Okay, that direction. <laughs> yeah, that is good tension. Tell me. <laughs> so, so, how many people died in this, Isaac? <laughs> I don't know. There are many people. There are many people. You see, uh, David has already died and is dying again. Yeah, people die many yes, times. I many think. times, I tell you. And they, they, uh, and, he's the, and he's the one who is running on the other side. That one, that he is David, who died there. Yeah. Here's Spider-Man. I don't know him. <laughs> Even up now, <laughs> he's, he's not, not as toughest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I know him. Yeah, I think there's shots of people killing themselves. Yeah, like yeah, having yeah. a fight with themselves. Yeah, people could also kill themselves there. No. It is interesting, I don't see. So were there problems shooting this with, with guns? I mean, did people like see you with them? Yes, of course. Uh, I tell you, the other side of that, uh, that area, there were so many soldiers. Because that is, uh, we did this during the, the, the Kayunga saga, the, the, the Kayunga saga, that is Kabaka Kayunga, um, strikes demonstrations all over the country. And uh, there were soldiers who were guarding the petrol station, Hass, it was called Hass petrol station, there in, in, in Chengera. So they were, they were watching us, I, 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 I think, but maybe they were on mission, they were on duty, they could not come, but we were also afraid. We, we used to hide a little bit so that they cannot see us. It was not a good time to do this, but, you know, it wasn't a good time. But we, we managed to do it anyway. Because there was violence in the country. Yeah, yeah, there was violence everywhere, demonstrations and what. Yeah. And again, your guns look better than theirs. I tell maybe you. that's why they did not come, Isaac. Maybe. <laughs> maybe they, they were afraid of us. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> yeah, that was that brad, you know, by then we didn't know how to do makeup. We used your real cow brad. That was real cow brad. And we could throw it, you know, as you have seen it. And it also in people's mouths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have to, you have to, because they were loving it. They loved it. They loved it. Everyone was doing it with love. There's the cow. There's the yeah, cow's the blood. Cows yeah. are, I mean, He's running from you. <laughs> <laughs> you were running. Not because of braids, no. They were running <laughs> for life. And, you know, they were, uh, they were used to, to, you know, to guns. Because, as I told you, it was uh, a, a tough time there. People everywhere could hear breaks and type. But did anyone get, did you get sick by using real blood in, in your mouth? And yes, in one movie, uh, David, David was, uh, was found and uh, was taken to Lubaga Hospital and uh, had brucella. That is a um, uh, fever for cows, I think. So he, and we stopped there and then to use it. That's how we knew that it's not good for, for human. And then we started, we, we, that's how we started, you know, uh, getting a way, another way of doing it. And uh, now we do it otherwise. How do you do it now? We use food colors and uh, other things like which are not harmful to people. I thought you were going to say human blood. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Maybe in Bukunja. <laughs> you might use it in, <laughs> in the carnival. <laughs> If you ask me which which part is not good for you, is that is not that is not good. You don't like it. I don't like it in that movie, the whole movie. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's cool. I, but for me, I don't like it. You know. <laughs> I like this. I like when the guy you shoot, oh, he's a, and the, and the one can, guy who was saved runs. How can you pass through two guns? You know, that's why um. I don't. Like, I hate it. <laughs> Between two guns, we yeah, no. I don't like that because of that. Oh, have you seen the makeup there behind? Yeah. There was a tin of makeup. <laughs> really? <laughs> There's Tiger Mafia. Yeah, that is Tiger Mafia. Yeah, sitting on something. Whose home is this? <laughs> it's our neighbor's home. 
and that guy has been good for us. Oh, yeah, you know. Is Ramon TV? Yeah, that's Ramon TV. And that's the same singer as in the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Natasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natasha and Pros. Yeah, they were singing it. And that is Pros. Maybe that's why the Tiger Mafia loved it, because Pros was, was his wife. <laughs> so his wife. Oh, sorry, that guy, that that lady died. Oh, really? Yeah, she died. Well, she's in space now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> she's in the heavens. <laughs> oh, that's bad news. Bad news. Uh, I tell you, if it's bad news, you know, <laughs> if you're a wife of a mafia, you know the consequences, and I, 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 I tell you, if the TV tells you bad news here, <laughs> you, you know, this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> it, it deserved the, the punishment. <laughs> and so that's yeah, he, 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 he bought that TV to to him to to have fun, you know, not to right have <laughs> bad news. <laughs> and so that's Prost. That's the yeah, yeah. That is Prost. He was just singing. Yeah. This is Ernest before his haircut. Yeah, yeah. Well, that like, is I don't know what yeah. describe it. Her <laughs> hair full, I don't know. <laughs> so how many wives does uh, this Richard Tiger Mafia have? <laughs> that should be a sequel, like the wives of Tiger Mafia. Okay. <laughs> it's all in prison. Yeah. <laughs> he loves his brother, I tell you that. Yeah, he loved his brother. And we have seen so many, you know, uh, people, you know, here in, in Uganda who are highly ranked. If they lose brothers, in that silly way, you know, you don't have to tell them. So who is, is Puffs a singer also? Yes, he is a singer and, and a film star, you know. But uh, nowadays, I, I don't know if he's still thing, singing, but... I hear that he's abroad, but he's, he was a very good singer, and uh, he started a Ramon film. I mean, Ramon Studios. Oh. That's your, your Russian mercenary. Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't understand Luganda is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> he's international, you know. He has to know Luganda. Luganda is international. <laughs> No one brave who doesn't know Luganda, I tell you. You have to be brave to know Luganda. Brave? Yeah. Luganda is international for brave people. Okay, here's the mafia. Mm -hmm. So where is this? Uh, that is uh, a school behind where I live. It's An active there. school? Yeah. Not very active by that time, but uh, now it is. I like the way he started. I like how it's quiet and like slow. <laughs> <laughs> she should not be smiling. <laughs> Another bad news. <laughs> That's bad news. <laughs> So how did you get the uh, you talk about the, the 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 advert, the trailer for Captain Alex? How did I get? Well, like you, so you made the advert, mm -hmm. and then you posted it on YouTube. Yes. And how, like, how was it hard to put on YouTube? Yes, by that time it was like a joke, you know, I told you, because I didn't know much about the internet. I, uh, when I made it, I just did it, and I said, "Oh, I have done it. I have done it. I've managed to get an account." It was like. I don't know how I did it, anyway. even now, I don't know. And I tell you when I did it, I put it there. It took me eight months to know that uh, it is still there. And I just knew from a phone uh, from one of the guys in Sweden called D DJ Din TV. He calls himself that, DJ Din TV. He called me, I was shooting. 
and I said I had to. The, I, I saw the number was not here. Yeah, I was here. Yeah, it was not a local Ugandan a number, and then I had to pick it. And then he said, "Do you know that your movie is selling?" I said, "What movie?" I know all my movies are selling. <laughs> and one movie and where? He said, "It is selling in America." I, I said, "Are you in America?" He said, "No, I'm in Sweden." Oh, is it selling in Sweden? And who, is, who has taken it there? He said, no. I, I, I'm, I, I, what I mean is, I've seen it on YouTube. It has something like one million people views. Uh, and then after something like five, 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 five hours, uh, five hours, I got another from a guy uh, from also was in, in New York. I mean, he was in, in America. I don't know where he's exactly, but he was in America. And he owns Uganda videos uh, on, 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 on the internet. It is UgandaVideos.com. He called me and said, uh, "You know your movie is selling. Is selling. Can you can you give it to me so that I can sell it here?" I said, "No, I cannot give it to you because I don't know what you can, what what you, what you mean. How can I give it to you?" So that's how I knew that it was working. And then I had to look for the internet again and see what it, what what was it. And so I found it that it was you know up. And I had by that time. I got a friend of mine and, uh, and we had uh, opened a, a website. Also, I had put, posted there my, that, uh, that very advert of Captain Alex and Tabat Sasula. But when we opened, I opened that uh, website, it was off. And then I had to go to the uh, providers, service, uh, internet providers. Oh, this is RamonFilmProductions.com. Yeah yeah, 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 RamonFilmProductions.com. When I went to the service providers, they told me that, you know, your internet, <coughs> you, you bought a little they call it bandwidth. Band. Yeah, band, band band band. Yeah. and then they said they are downloading too much so i said who who is downloading and what it said you you know you know you put their videos you should put their pictures because you bought, bought a small town and it's just the 90 it's 90 seconds yeah yeah it's 90 seconds and so but they were downloading it maybe i don't know who yeah you know it was like that but that's how i, I came here Come again. that's how i came here yeah <laughs> 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 Not only you. <laughs> yeah, so many people came here because of that. Yeah, because you're because that's your phone number in the Ramon films in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is. That's it. your cell number. Mm-hmm. I think now what is it? September 2013. I think it has about 2.1 million views, Captain. Now it's I've not and two million for Tibet Tesla. I have not checked it. I tell you, I'm not good at checking them. <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> so what's your secret, Isaac? Don't check. <laughs> I don't know. And also Nigerians also used to call me during that those days. Yeah. So this is right here. This is. Huh? Th- yeah, yeah. That is behind the same the same place. That is behind. The That's this room. Actually, this is this room, right? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. This is so. This. Is, yeah. <coughs> but that is a tent. We we built yeah. it outside there. Because we're in the, what's it called? It's the actor studio? What, what do you call this room? Where you? With this room here? Like a rehearsing room. And before that, it was it was what? It was a library. <coughs> it was a, sorry? It was a library, book library. People, you, you know, secondary school students used to come and read their books from here. <coughs> I, that's how I thought I could help the education. And I bought some books and then I had put them here. But because I had no electricity, that's why... You know, I lost it. Hmm. So was electricity a problem generally? Yes, uh, even from then it was, but we have got it, but it's also a, a big problem. It's, not, it's on and off. It's on and off. It can even take a week or month when you don't have it. Hmm. So it's a very big problem here. And can you talk about the computers that you used for ah, this? The computers, I tell you. <laughs> I build them myself. I buy, you know, and you know, I don't have much. I just buy low quality. But I, I managed to make uh, films like that out of them. But uh, they're, n- they're not good. And I have to open them always because you know the climate and everything of Uganda and, the, and hard working. Because to lend a movie like that one, it, it has to you know, become hot. So I have to open it. And already the climate here is hot. Mm. Uh, so I have to open it always, leave it open. And, uh, you know, to, to lend a movie like that can take me to, uh, almost a day, 24 hours. And that's, and that's how you lost Tabat Tasula, no? Yeah, 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 I lost Tabat Tasula. And, and Tabat Tasula wasn't lost that way. It was lost because of power. 
power was on and off, you know, it comes, it comes when it's, it's high and then it's burnt that hard disk. And I lost it. It was almost done. I was I was lendering it and power was high and then I just saw my hard disk, you know, smoke coming out of it and I knew it was high, 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 high power. Wow. <coughs> yeah, that is when uh, I tell you that is the question. That's where the, qu the question comes from. That's where the question comes from, I tell you. <coughs> Who killed Captain Alice? Yeah, where'd the uh, idea come from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I tell you, I, 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 I think everyone should be, you know, should be attentive. And that's where you, that's, <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> Who killed Captain Alex? I don't think he's dead. <laughs> Even me, but I have heard the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he had a he had a pistol. He might have run away. Maybe. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> or he fell? I don't know. He <laughs> shot himself. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I don't care. I don't. I don't. I don't understand if he's the one because it was night time. I don't know if he's the one there. Maybe we'll know at the end of the movie. And and I wonder why is it? You know. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the movie. Yeah, you it do. was raining. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. No. <laughs> <guys are great. laughs> that is <laughs> I, like, I like this moment here. It starts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Captain. He might have been. Uh, I think he's faking it. I don't know. Jumbo. Mr. Ugoi. What does Mr. Ugoi mean? I said. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know that. You you will never know. <laughs> he just make me say it. <laughs> you better ask the other machinery from Russia. <laughs> he will tell you. <laughs> it, it, the good thing you have to say. Jumbo to, to, to the Russian machine. Mafia and say, well, Mr. Lugo is and that's how you know what it means. There's Bukenya. Yeah, that is Bukenya. Do you hear me? Hello, hello. <laughs> he's, he's really going to cry. He's talking to the tree. <laughs> so how did you meet uh, Bukenya and the Kung Fu guys? Uh, we grew up together. Really? Yeah, we grew up together and we started Kung Fu almost together. But for me, I was weak and I <laughs> feared to be kicked. <laughs> I decided to be in the acrobatic section. And I tell you, my brother was, uh, is now their trainer almost. And he's the head of their, the, the, them or or kung fu club. So they, uh, did they teach themselves kung fu? Of course, yes. They taught. We, in fact, we, at first we taught ourselves. We used to buy Chinese sports, and uh, there was a book called Chinese Sports. In when we that was 1986, uh, we used to buy them in a winner market, and we started, you know, teaching ourselves. That's when we first found words like in Anguan, uh, Gi Kuang things of that in the, the, the Japanese cool things of that kind that's how we met them but <clears throat> later on we joined in the 88 we joined the, the uh, NRA uh, sports team and uh, we met coach Sejemba because uh, coach Sejemba is the one who taught all, all of us uh, I've never met him again I tell you he's in military that's what I know because NRA was the military name for the by that time of Uganda now, which is UPDF, transformed to UPDF. So we joined the sports, uh, sports part of it, but we never, why we didn't know, go into military? Because they said, later on they told us to join the army, to get us, to give, to give us numbers. We, we never wanted to be army men. So we had to leave. That's why we started, you know, training ourselves. 
and through books and uh, you know movies from China they went on they went on and uh, in 2005 I had to tell them that you come you guys come and I make we make a movie and they were saying no 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 and what I did is I had to get you know I used to make myself you know the the, the samples the sound samples and then I started I started with a movie we used to on Sundays I called them on Sundays we gather together there's a place there at Nalukorong and then we start you know making a movie but we had no script it was like that so when when I, when I edited one part they were amazed and they said yeah it's like that how, how did you how did you do it it was sound that made them you know uh, la love it yeah. that's that made it that made them believe that we can do it in Uganda but for me, I knew I can do it because my brother is good. Uh, and uh, why you don't see him in many movies is because he's shy. I don't know. It's like that. He grew up like that way. I try to, maybe I have to force him, but he's a grown up man. I cannot force him anymore. Uh, so, but I like, I like Bukenya because he loves what he does. He loves it very much. So that's why you see that I am featuring him in many movies because he's. He, he thinks that he's going to do it. And he has the art in him. I, but I know my brother is better than him. If it comes to uh, to kickboxing, I mean, I'm, I mean Kung Fu, he's better than him. And, he, and he's his coach uh, right now. And the, the guys, are they, they're the national team now, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. And they've, tra they've traveled. They travel, yeah. They travel to Yiland, they travel to Burundi, they have been in several co co competitions, Kung Fu competitions. Then who killed Captain then who killed Captain Alex? Alex? Who? who? <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> He's looking at us, I think. <laughs> I don't know who killed Captain Alex. Here we go. Uh -huh. There behind there, there was a petrol station there. And uh, there were men, there were, there were soldiers there who could see us, you know. Doing it. So that's why we, we did it behind that building, this side of the building, because we were safe this side at least. So this is the Ugandan uh, Kung Fu team? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they not like each other? What's happening? <laughs> 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 and uh, <coughs> I like that part which is coming. Uh, you know that uh, that is called uh, oh I've forgotten his name that one was Lutalo Lutalo yeah Il yeah Lutalo is called Lutalo and uh, you know he wa he, ha he has halaj he had halaj and he, he knew that his mouth was going to grow big he said let him punch him, let, let him punch my mouth if it grows big you take another shot when it <laughs> seems that he has punched me and it's <laughs> that's how I love it. I love it it's real. <laughs> Yeah. So that's the master over there he's talking to? Yeah, that is. It doesn't look like a master. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not well trained, but uh, I don't know. To make it's his master. property. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's my house. <laughs> so it's the same stuff. It's like uh, Kung Fu is not for revenge. Yeah, yeah, he's saying Kung Fu is not for revenge. Uh, because, yeah, that's how we are taught. Uh, when we joined the, 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 the Kung Fu team of NRA, they told us, no, Kung Fu is not for revenge. It's for self-defense and, uh, and uh, body health. So we have also to tell the world it's not for revenge. <laughs> you see, that is Kasumba, uh, Ismail. Okay. Yeah, he worked very hard to see that uh, we get these, those attires from Bobby Wine. He's the one who I used to send to Bobby Wine. The musician. Yeah, the, mu the musician to see that we, he gives us, because we saw the attires in, the, in his videos. That is Kaz. Kaz is uh, some miles away from Kampala. So and that's that normal? That's uh, at the hotel there in Kampala? Okay. That's a hotel in Kampala. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> it's it's art. <laughs> that is art. 
So this is you were saying this area is some miles away from yeah Kampala? yeah that is uh, that is near it's uh, it's near uh, how they call it it's near a prison a prison a big prison called Chigo Chigo prison there it is called Kaz that is for a camping site for scouts yeah, yeah that's where we are and it's near Lake Victoria. And I tell you, we are, we, we are not allowed to, be, to do it there. We did it, that's why we did it on Sunday, when the government is not working. We, went, we, we tried to, to go through the, 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 the legal process, and they, had, they were asked for a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, we had no money, and then we had to go there on Sunday because no one was guarding the place, and uh, we used to go there. You know. So we had to do it on Sunday. So what camera did you use for this? And that is a PD, Sony PD. PD is PD-170. How'd you get that? <laughs> it's a long story, I tell you. <laughs> I, I had to work very hard to get a PD, I tell you. It was very expensive. And uh, it, was, uh, it, was, uh, it was a guy who was selling it and I had to look for money, you know. But I tell you, I had to sell everything I had. I had to work very hard. Uh, at first, I had a friend of, or a neighbor, a friend of, my, of, of mine, who used to give me uh, their f a family camera. It was very small, and I used to, uh, that's how, why I used to make videos. And uh, from videos, I, I had to go on, you know, getting, collecting money until I paid for that PD, and plus selling bricks which I was making. And, uh, you know, it, it was basically that how I, I got that money to buy that PD. And I remember when I had paid a half, the guy was taking the, the camera away from me. He was saying, no, if you don't have the, the other half, then let me, after one or two weeks, he had to come back and say, if you don't have the, the last of, uh, portion of my money, I'm taking the camera. I had to tell him that the camera was taken away by someone, but I knew the camera was inside. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for money, but, so it was like that. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. To, and I, uh, it, I, um, I was always, you know, working very hard to see that I get a camera because uh, I couldn't do such a movie without my camera. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it because it was time consuming, you know, uh, it was not, by that time you were, there were few cameras and uh, most cameras were used by these uh, guys who make uh, videos and it, videos were profitable, but I never wanted to make videos though uh, I wanted to make movies. I, I feel my heart, my, 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 my art being, wanted to make a movie, not a video, music videos. I taught many who, who are making videos even up to now. But for me, as, a, as, as, a, as in my heart, I wanted to make movies. Though I was not, I'm not getting a lot, but I think uh, my heart would love, love, love action movies. Yeah, that is museum, it's okay. Have you ever been to a movie theater? Come on. Have you ever been to a movie theater? Me? Yeah. No. No, no. I grew up, I never, I, the way, anyway, the way I grew up, I never went to any cinema, cinema, no, no I never went there. But uh, I had a brother, I told you that old brother of mine, he used to come home from cinemas and could tell me the whole movie. Uh, he used to tell me those of, uh, oh, I've forgotten, Buddy Spencer. I remember him telling me about Buddy Spencer. He's a big man, he books, he, he books you and he, you go down. I loved that. I loved the way he was narrating the stories. And I tell you, from there I got a very good picture of a movie. And uh, when I told him that one day I'm going to make a movie, he said, no, how can you make a movie if you, you, you have never seen a movie? I, I told him, yes, I've never seen one, but remember, even on TV we see movies. And he said, yeah, and those, are not good, those are not movies. I tell you, for us we grew up, knowing that um, TV shops are not, are, are, not, are not films. That's why we grew up. We thought that these uh, actual movies and uh, movies in the cinema halls are the movies. But I told him and I promised him and I made it. Hmm. And can you talk a bit about uh, the VJ, like what that is and how, that, how you use it? Uh, VJ, uh, of course VJ is a, vi uh, is a video joker. And uh, in, in Uganda, uh, uh, the first VJ I, I knew was called Chiwanuka.
Chiwa. They call they, they call him Chiwa, and uh, we, we 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 were in the same class. I remember, and I didn't know that he was the one uh, because I never went to the cinema halls. But my brother used to come. Chiwa is good. Chiwa is good, and I didn't know. After something like three years, that's when I knew it was Chiwa, the one I was with in, in the school, uh, and that's why he was also he, he got that uh, chance of you know joining the cinema halls free of charge because Chiwa was the VJ. VJ. Uh, as I told you, it's a video joker. <coughs> it helps us, you know, it gives life, a video gives life to a movie uh, where sometimes you have, you see the guest chairs, is he tries to explain something and it's in a joking way. And sometimes, that's why we loved Nigerian movies. No one would have loved the way Nigerians speak their English, you know, here in Uganda. But when the VJs started, you know, VJing their, VJing their the, the Nigerian movies, that's how, I, even me, that's how I loved Nigerian movies at first. And, uh, you know, action for, for, for Hollywood movies, yes, it is partly good, and, but at least they had action, more action. And then I, at least you could, uh, you could enjoy action. But for a VJ, he makes it more and more lovely. The way you hear him, the way the tones and everything, he explains something that you don't understand. Sometimes he tells lies, but at least in a joking way. And uh, it gives life. So you, know? you like it when your your own films are VJ? Yeah, that's I like I like it very much. Whenever I watch a VJ, uh, my movie being VJ by somebody, uh, by Amy, you know, I see another version of of it. It's another life in a, that movie. Another life, I tell you, I see it, and I can watch it several times. <laughs> I can watch it several times. <coughs> no, we're back to Ramon TV. Yeah. <laughs> For bad news. Sure, it's be good news. Let's see. <laughs> I think Lamont TV is they specialize in, in bad news. <laughs> and I think that girl, the one who is holding a phone, yeah. Hello? acted in this movie alone and no, not in any other movie. But she's good. I mean, the phone is not even plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this reporter, she was, uh, she had a, 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 whatever I call it, she was uh, a wife to someone, mm -hmm. and that someone <laughs> never wanted her to act. And she said, I want to act, but the, my husband is not. And she had to leave, you know. So how do you like how do you sell the movies? Uh, we sell uh, you, you do door to door selling. That's normally what we do. Uh, we have a marketing team by made out of uh, the actors. So <coughs> if we produce a movie and it's out, what we do is we have to sell it ourselves because there are no uh, the distributors in Uganda. Yeah. So I think as Ernest is you know Tiger Mafia Richard. Yeah, he's the, he's the biggest seller, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's one of the big sellers. And nowadays, uh, there are others who are also coming up, but he's one of the best sellers. If you compare the number of movies copies has sold, he's still the best. But the women, um, <coughs> are they fearful when they're selling? Of course, some. Some, uh, you know, it's not easy for a woman to be, to hawk, to be do that hawking uh, work as a worker on the on the streets to sell something you know it's not common here so if they are selling movies you know they are they they they, they, they remains the way they, they they treat them and i tell you they sell to men more than men selling to men but they they sometimes mistreat them i was talking to uh jackie mm -hmm. there she was saying that the, it's 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 the other women who give her problems when she's selling yeah she, they get a lot of problems, as I told you, you know, but they sell more copies to men than yeah. than men sell to men. He just wants to eat. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants his fish. <laughs> and the guy was tough. <laughs> the guy never wanted to share. <laughs> well, he gave her medicine. He's got a shirt. <laughs> But it couldn't help. Uh, 
So what is this? Tell tell me who he is or you're going to marry me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to decide of the two. Marry me or to die. I like her there with the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like my shower at the Boom Motel here. <laughs> yep, that's exactly it's like It's manual. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I have someone takes the jerry can and throws it at me. That is extra. <laughs> I have to do it myself, actually, in the morning. Yeah, it's a Boom Motel. I think... Uh, the name says it all. Yeah, it says it all. And you have to face the mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, she's trying to sell a DVD. It's terrible. <laughs> I like how the guy's laughing in the back before. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that scene was dif difficult for for Bukenya because he was not used to rehearsing. So it was not very easy for him to say words, you know, the way we liked it. Yeah. And we did several times. So that's Dauda there. Yeah, that is Dauda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking tough. Yeah. So Dauda makes uh, a lot of the, the props and the, uh, the jibs and everything? Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, in fact, he's the, he's the head of the props department here, and he makes them. Uh, he's good at welding and, you know, at creativity. He's creative. He's creative. I like him for that. He's creative and he's always to do anything you, you tell him to do. You know, I tell you, he's the guy you can, you can tell to jump from a... From a from uh, from 100 meters, I mean 1,000 meters down, and he can do it because if it is movie, he say it tells you that I can do anything. F if it is movie, if the camera is there, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'll do anything stupid if there's a camera. <laughs> yeah, if there's a camera. <laughs> but <laughs> that's why I like him. <laughs> so what was like the like the the equipment you were using for this? Uh, for Captain Alex, yeah. the equipments were, <laughs> were very poor. By then, we had a, a car jack, uh, G, I mean, uh, stand, tripod stand, and uh, from a car jack. Yeah, from a car jack. Yeah, and uh, you know, as I told you, the camera was not good, very good. But at least we had one. And what about lighting? Lighting was very poor. I tell you, lighting was very poor, and we had one light which was uh, these uh, floodlights, you know, you know, security lights. Uh, that's what we used as a floodlight, light at night. But it helped. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. And I tell you, that guy also worked, works with the Ministry of Health. He gave us that uh, chance of using that kind of compound, but he, he said, I, do, I was not seen. Oh. <laughs> 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 there comes <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> yes, he was kicked once and said, no, no more movies. <laughs> He's called Senkubuge. <laughs> he doesn't want. <laughs> Whenever I call him, you can, you, can I give you another part? No. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> yes, people know me, but I don't. <laughs> He's famous for that, I tell you. He's famous for that. <laughs> the guy was kicked once, had a gun, and who kicked never bothered that he has kicked someone who had a gun. <laughs> that means the kick was powerful. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, during that time, it was, uh, Kabaka was, uh, had got uh, <coughs> As, uh, can I call it a meeting, so, sort of, uh, a rally, sort of a rally uh, at uh, 
a place called uh, Wachiso. It is three miles, two miles away from there where we are. So everywhere on the road, we are soldiers. And I tell you, uh, because the order had uh, friends of his who were in the soldier military, whatever, like uh, uh, the police, that's how we managed to, 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 to work with those props. Uh, otherwise, we couldn't work because we did that. The other scene in the forest, it was near Wachiso, two miles, or one and a half, around there. So Kabaka was on that road, so they had to guard it. As I tell you, it was almost the end of the strikes. Kabaka was talking to people, no, no more strikes. And but it was really violent, though. I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it, it was very violent. I tell you, it was very violent, especially here where we are, here, here in, in Wakariga. It was very violent. They burnt a, a, a bus. There are people burnt it by a bus and a band, and they burnt a police station. So it was very hard to make this movie during that time. Though it was also very good for us, because uh, as we see, uh, we got some shots from the from the at the end. At anymore. the end, yeah, we got it from the TVs, and it was a blessing, as I told you. See, it wasn't. It wasn't easy and either thing. Were they actually afraid, the actors, of, I mean, I don't know, of like getting shot or anything? I tell you, it was me who was afraid. They were, they, were, they were enjoying. They were enjoying. For them, they never knew the, the consequences. They thought it was good. It was good. And the responsibility had to come to me. So I was always telling them, don't, don't shout. Well, maybe we'll do it at home, but don't shout too much. Yeah. And, you know, they, they, they were saying, attack, attack. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> just imagine if a soldier hears that oh, what he, what could he do so what I told them no don't don't say that leave it yeah <laughs> yeah he did that at Songodo Songodo they call it Songodo Song Factory something like that here we go yeah there, there, there comes the chopper you like helicopters. <laughs> yeah, I like them. Uh, during 1985-86, um, uh, we were chased by a chopper, me and my grandmother. We were chased by a chopper, I tell you. And uh, me and my brother also were chased by a chopper. And it, we had it run. My brother, because he was very good in, at watching movies, he said, we have to run. Uh, we have to be behind the chopper. We, 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 we might not be behind the chopper. We always have to be before, uh, in front of it. So run. And the chopper was, maybe the guys in the chopper thought that we are, maybe we, they wanted to know more about what we were running about. And we had to run, run, run like that. And then we started, you know, running in a run in, in a round in a circle like that yeah. so my brother said we i've seen that in a movie we have to do it so you know it was dealing it was a war it was a war zone by that by that time this yeah you grew up in the, in the civil war yeah yeah so i we also ran the chopper had to chase us with me and my mother my grandmother i mean uh we had to come back to pick some things at home when a chopper came and then we had to run then grandmother said you run run as fast as you can go back don't mind about me i said no i cannot leave you and i had to wait so i love choppers i witnessed choppers uh, a chopper came at uh, Luvaga cathedral one day I, and a man was holding a machine gun and i saw him and he, he, he said some he said some words i never heard but people say he was saying that you have to leave this place but we never left that place uh, so and i saw i also saw people saying that this uh, this plane is uh, why did I do it that way crashing like it was crashing no 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 the choppers of 1985 were when they were sending missiles they had to send them backwards they passed by a building and then they sent backwards it was not sending in front so that's what I was that what that's what I did because I witnessed that during 85 war how old were you I was uh, what I can say was something like 12 years 12 yeah around 12 13. 12, around 12, 13, I think, because I was in P6, primary six. Hmm. So did you try to capture? Uh, do what? In, this, in the film, did you try to capture, like, I don't know, the feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to, to, to do it the way I saw it. The way I saw it that uh, during that days, during those days. Uh, one thing I forgot to do in this movie is the road broke. I tell you, I know what is a roadblock. 
and many people have never seen Elod Block. What they call Lord Brooks are just checking points. That's what they call Lord, Lord Brooks. But Lord Brooks of that days, of those days, we are tough. We are tough. And to pass by a Lord Brook, it was not an easy thing. And maybe one day I will make a movie and I might call it a Lord Brook. <laughs> I think first Uganda needs a road. <laughs> That is an interesting part. You go and see a guy, does it, he's reporting, and already the boss is under arrest. <laughs> Almost under arrest. <laughs> he, he even doesn't see <laughs> the guy in uniform. <laughs> That's Here we go. Yeah, I like that character of uh, Ernest, uh, the Tiger Mafia. You know, I liked it. It was tough. <laughs> that kick. <laughs> it's too fast for a human being. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, David shoots himself here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he and just killed himself. He was twice there. He's th he was twice there shooting <laughs> yep. at himself. <laughs> So, so these special effects, yeah. like what, uh, like tell me about it. I mean, like the, what, what software do you use? I use uh, any software that comes across me. That is a scroll, and you see that build, that the, the force behind? Yeah. I had to put it there. It was not there. I had to put a force there because uh, that, that is one of the last scenes I made. And I, had, I, I, I was not able to go back to the forest. What I did, I, I got the forest, I the forest, and then I made it a plate, and then I had to put it behind the, that scroll. It is, it is because the school is near me here. So the special effects really I make uh, from, especially for Captain Alex, I used much of combustion. Combustion. Used, yeah, combustion. Yeah, I used much of combustion uh, for that, uh, the muzzle. And uh, After Effects is one of the, uh, the programs I used uh, to do the special effects. So you've gotten uh, either phone calls or emails uh, thinking that you're a witch doctor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> several, several people have been calling. <laughs> several people have been calling for that, and I think that uh, maybe I know, I know one witch doctor, good witch doctor. Uh, you know, in Uganda, they believe in that. They believe in witch. Uh, so. It's because you can do the special effects. Yeah. <laughs> and other thing, they, they sometimes they say that they have got a witch doctor who helps them to do this. They have one. Yeah. So. And I tell them, who has, what about the, the whites? Do they have a lot of witch doctors? <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. But it, it's not a witch doctor. Yeah. Okay, bro. in action. It's a good sound here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Ah, let's go. And I like that. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Oof. So was this done in one day? This this whole yeah, all yeah, this? the whole f uh, forest is seen. We are done in, and and I tell you in no more than two hours. No more than two hours. What I said uh, when we reached that, 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 that forest, I told them that everyone has got to give us something to do. And they were all creative and said, okay, for me I'm dying. For me I'm doing this. For me, I, let me jump. Let, for me, let me do this. So it was, it was a combination of ideas. And I just shot. And I got, later on, uh, I had to get a, uh, to do, to make a, a story out of what I did. I did shoot in that in two hours what i had what they had in mind that is these are on this side and these are on this side what can we do let us run let us jump let us do this let us be you know pretend as if the grenade has has crushed us something like that 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 one that girl and and david david i don't know how many times david died <laughs> in this whole know. movie <laughs> i don't know <laughs> He dies from the beginning, and now he's dying, still dying. Oh, 
Oh, poor mercenary. Uh, and I tell you, uh, it's true. Uh, a lady who loved, uh, who, uh, who wear uh, that, that, uh, that Swahib grew up, watched this movie and was so happy to see that the boy he knew was a hero, was good, was a missionary, and at the end he died. And he, she, saw, she, she thought that he died for real. And uh, she had to, con to, to confirm, she had to call and know whether the boy died. And he's the one there who is going to be, you see, the one on, on, the, on, left. on the left, yeah, he's the one. Didn't, also, people called you thinking that this is real, the yeah. Ugandan Air Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's from <coughs> Idi Amin's I, regime. I tell you, one, one policeman told us that this, this might have been taken during Idi Amin's regime. It is not our regime. <laughs> and he thought it's for you. Uh, when we were at Lugogo, uh, there was a trade show, and we went there. Uh, p policemen were very impressed. They, they liked it very much, and they came in numbers. I remember one told us that uh, if I bring a friend of mine, can you cut the price? And then we said yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we were willing to give it for free for a, po for a policeman because we wanted the police to know that we really can do this. We really can do this. So we are willing to give them free. Yeah, I took those. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a Kampala city, that building. Yeah, that is Kampala city, and that is real. I tell you, that is, that is Kampala during that saga of Kabaka Kayonga. This is while you were shooting? Yeah, I, I did it uh, on my TV at home. And if you hear very carefully, you can hear uh, Rachel and Newton uh, are crying behind them because it was on my TV. It was at what I was at home, you know. And that is my chair. That's where it yeah, was. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was. The TV is in front there. Yeah, he was watching it. <laughs> wow. And that is the other one is my jitter. <clears throat> so I, 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 I had to utilize that chance. Uh, that is that was good. Uh, that, that is called uh, uh, oh, Naba was or whatever. She was also a good actor, but uh, she did not feature much in this movie. Mm. Because she it's was quiet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you dedicated the film to your grandmother? Yeah, I dedicated the film to my grandmother, Rachel Chizito. And she's the one who took care of you yeah. during, during the, the Civil war. Wars? During the war. I grew up with her. You know, uh, she uh, really, I tell you, that is the one I, we run with. R the chopper chased us with her. That is the one. So I had to tell her that really, the, as you hear that song behind, is a dedication also to her. I made that song, I, I will compose that song uh, because she really uh, loved us. Uh, she cared during the war. And, uh, you know, she is a wonderful grandmother, I tell you. She is like a mother and father. And she's still alive? Yeah, she is. She is 97 now. She's 97 now. But she's still alive. She's she's a caring grandmother, and we were at home. We are more than forty people at home, and she used to look after us. She fed us. She gave us everything. I tell you, she used to. She looked for school fees. <laughs> you know, did, it's not easy. So did she adopt? I mean, take care of children during the civil wars? Yeah, some, some. Uh, we are not hers. She just got them from different families. Others had left them and. She, you know, gathered us at home, and uh, I know uh, that's why I love her, and I will never forget her. She's wonderful. She's a mother. She's a father to me. The end. <laughs> <laughs> until, until next. <laughs> yes. What's the next movie, Isaac? I tell you, we have so many. The Carnival is coming. Black. The uh, most sincerely wanted. Uh, we have uh, Rescue Team. Tiger Mafia, uh, Plan 9 of Uganda. There are so many movies to ben come. Ben on. Ben on. Juba the Snake Girl. Juba the Snake Girl. Revenge 1 and 2. Jin Kuchia, Jin Rien Tue Tue. There are so many movies, I tell you, to come. And very soon. <laughs> and, we, and, and we need actors. <laughs> yes. I need actors all over the world, from all over the world. Whoever can volunteer to come, please do come and act. And you know, die. And uh, yes, you have to die. You or know. get eaten. <laughs> One day I told Bobby Wayne to come and act. I said, for me, I don't die. 
<laughs> he, he told me two things. I, I cannot be a friend of a policeman and I don't die. <laughs> I said, okay, n- but not now. <laughs> <laughs> you can not that Michael. <laughs> no, not, in, not here. Pe- people are dying several times and they're saying, no, you cannot die. So even a film star dies <laughs> in my movies. It's, not, it's different. It's different. A film star can kill, kill himself or herself. So, so why don't you die? Anyway, it's just that is art. But uh, many people don't want to die in movies. But for me, I want who, who is willing to die and who is willing to die many times, not one time. Thank you and good night. Yeah. <laughs>